In this video, we're gonna learn how to work with the configurable joints in Unity. Basically, the configurable joint is all of the different joints together and it gives you the ability to do so powerful things. In some specific cases, you come to the point where you can do all the specific work with only one joint. Configurable joints in Unity are so complex. Unity Technologies says that you can do everything with it you can do with other joints so the configurable joint will give you the power of working with fixed joints spring joints hinge joints and character joints all together now let's go back to unity and let's get started let's create a cube scale it and add rigid body component and make sure it's kinematic Duplicate the cube and let's create the bridge using the Unity Primitive Cubes. Select the bridge and add a rigid body component. And now let's add the configurable joint. You will notice that the configurable joint has a lots and lots of parameters. Some of those parameters are already mentioned on some previous videos. Before we start working with those parameters, select the first cube of our bridge. Drag the edge we have here into the connected body slot. And do the same with the last group, our bridge. Now let's go back to the X, Y and Z motion instead of being free, set them to lock it. And do the same thing for the angular motion. Now all we have to do is to break the connection between the bridge and the wall. And set a break force to 100. Now if we hit the play button, you will notice that our bridge doesn't fall down. Let's go back to our scene and let's create the sphere. Call it player. Create new C sharp script, give it a name, player movement, and let's open it up in Visual Studio. What we're gonna do now is writing a simple script that controls the player movement. If we hit the horizontal axis, our player will be moving on the bridge. Now let's attach our code to our player. If we hit the play button, our bridge will be the same. But now we can control our player using the same script we already create. Don't forget that our player contains a rigid body component attached to it. Once we go across the bridge, you will notice that our cube's falling out. We just successfully recreated the fixed joint. Now if we just change the angular motion to V and hit the play button, you will notice that we are getting a little bit of that springy action. Now we have succeeded to recreate the fixed and spring joint using the configurable joint by Unity 3. You can recreate any type of joints in Unity using the configurable joint. All you need to do is changing the parameter in the inspector. I hope you had fun learning about joints in Unity. Now we have finished working with joints. We're gonna learn about the ragdoll in the next video.